Fast Lawyer VR Reviews. For sexy VR reviews, hit the subscribe button. Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Bendy and the Ink Machine VR, a game that was originally released on the Steam Store back in 2017. It does not officially have VR, but Team Beef came up with a community VR port for this game and it is completely free for anyone to download from GitHub. I will put a link in the video description. This will be a direct download link and this is a great mod because it's very easy to install. You basically just download it, unzip it, double click it and it does all the work for you. The only thing you need to do is make sure your VR headset is ready and start the game and it will show up on your VR headset before I start my review and I do have some criticisms of this VR experience it is not perfect but before I start my review I do want to take some time to thank Team Beef for bringing this game to VR they made it free for the VR community so they put their hard work I know they have a patreon and you're free to support them if you want but you don't have to and they didn't have to make this free for the VR community so so I just want to take some time and thank them for their hard work and effort in improving PC VR and the Quest. Thank you guys so much. And I do have a proviso for this review. Some of my criticisms are not specifically related to anything Team Beef did. At the end of the day, this is a 2D game that's been ported to VR. Some of these issues are not really anyone's fault. Okay, now on to the review and I'll just give a very brief summary of the game in case you're not familiar with Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is a narrative driven game. It's a little bit of horror but it's not really all that scary. There's a few jump scares and there's definitely a lot of atmosphere but it's more focused on being a puzzle action adventure game game that's narrative driven. There's also very simple combat sections as well as stealth action sections. The puzzles themselves are not really all that difficult but some of them do require you to be a bit on the observant side and I do not want to spoil the story at all for you guys. I'm just gonna say what's on the Steam Store page. In this game you play as Henry as he revisits the demons of his past by exploring the abandoned animators workshop of Joey Drew Studios with twists and turns around every corner Bendy and the Ink Machine is sure to thrill you and decimate your childhood. I, I think that's the perfect summary there so I don't think I could top that so let's just leave it like that. Okay first things first it took me approximately five hours to beat this game. I did enjoy the game and I do recommend it however there are some issues that you need to be aware aware of. First of all, Mendy and the Egg Machine is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting mostly 90 frames per second. However, I did have several frame rate drops in the experience. Sometimes it would drop all the way down to 45 frames per second. You do have full locomotion as well as smooth and snap turning available. You can set the degree of turn. You can also set how fast you turn in the smooth turn. And you can also calibrate your height so you can play this comfortably seated. So the biggest thing to know about this VR experience is that a lot of the interactions are of the point and click variety. I would go ahead and make sure that the laser pointer is enabled in the settings because otherwise it will be very difficult in using the point and click interactions in this game. I basically found it impossible to to play without this pointer activated in the settings. There are some other very basic VR interactions here whether you're holding a flashlight or you're using a melee weapon. Now in the last update the developers did change how the melee swing works in VR. There's basically a cooldown for it so you can't just swing as fast as you can and hit objects. I think that was a mistake because I played this game and I struggled through some 
some of the combat sections just because the hitboxes were very difficult to determine so it did lead to some unnecessary deaths and with this cooldown mechanic that they added it just made it a tad bit more challenging than I think the game should be and I do think that's my biggest criticism of the game the melee just doesn't really feel right in VR when you swing you just don't know where it's hitting when you take damage you just don't know how far away you need to be and also for some of the throwing sections it's just basically a button press and then you just throw based on that button press but it's just very difficult to judge exactly where the projectile will land it's just a lot of trial and error there and some of the other VR interactions here just feel a bit odd as well whether it's opening a door via the point and click interaction or getting on a vehicle in this game where there's just like an automatic animation into either the boat or the ride it just feels a little odd now on the other hand what's really great about this experience are the visuals and the atmosphere in VR Bendy and the ink machine has a cartoonish art style this old time cartoon art style and it just really pops in VR you're really immersed in this world the story the game has really good pacing for VR and just the world building in this game is an excellent experience for VR and you can play this in pancake but you just won't get the same immersion you're surrounded by this ink world and it's just amazing to explore this world in VR it's the magic of VR on top of that you have top notch sound design here you have really good spatial audio here and it does bring a special element to the stealth sections when you can hear something really bad around the corner and you don't want to look across the corner there because you know you're not gonna like what you see so just a great sound design brings this VR experience to the next level on top of that you have the musical soundtrack and it's just an excellent experience in VR even though you don't have the normal VR interactions that we're used to you're not opening doors by grabbing the handle and pulling on it the melee here is very simplified we don't have the physics that you expect in VR but as a narrative driven horror experience this really works extremely well in VR and I do highly recommend the download of this VR mod. I think Team Beef did another excellent job and there really is no better way to experience Bendy and the Ink Machine other than through this VR mod. So I highly recommend it. It is one of the better VR experiences out there and it's the best VR experience I've had in 2023 so far. If I have to rate it, I would give it an 8 out of 10 it's excellent anyways i'm fast lawyer if you enjoyed my review don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day goodbye